Hello our signs, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Darlings, I'm going to do the dating app reading, I'm going to separate it off between the elements, so I'm going to be doing earth, fire, water and air, they will all go up at the same time but it, four videos is better than 12 for me at the moment, I haven't really got time, I've been doing it as um, a, an all signed thing but I'm kind of getting the feeling that um there may be a call to do it for different signs and then i can pick up who it is that's actually coming in and looking at the videos um so darlings this for me this is about singles this is about singles that are going on to dating apps um, and this is to give you some advice on a weekly basis about who or what is going on on the dating apps and clearly the last couple of weeks we saw a return of um, scammers that really had given it a rest during lockdown um, and um, a lot of people came out of the woodwork well there's a lot of good connections out there um, the cards definitely were saying use caution um, in some connections so we're going to get on and do this I'm going to start with Taurus now I don't do the what the fuck spread with this I just let the cards tell us a story so what's happening with Taurus this week around the dating apps because these are individual readings they're not going to be as long as the one that I had been doing so darlings the cards that have come out you have got the ten of earth which is equivalent to the Ten of Pentacles. That's the ultimate happiness, I guess. That's what you're looking for if you're single and you're out on the dating app. This one is the Eight. It's similar to the Eight of Pentacles. However, instead of it giving you lots of choices um, around your Pentacles and hard work around your Pentacles, this is about the hard work that you put in for yourself. And then, lovelies, you have got the Ace of Fire, the One of Fire. Now, the Ace of Fire is the Ace of Wands in other decks. So, lovelies, it's looking like um, you want the ultimate happiness. You're putting yourself out there for that. You have been working on yourself. You have been working on your chakras on making sure that you've got abundance to go forward with that you are covering all the elements around you um i'm kind of getting that you're quite accepting um about who it is that's coming towards you i think your heart chakra in particular is very open at the moment um but with the ace of wands this could be a new beginning with a fire sign so i'm just gonna ask the cards if they can give us any more information about this week i want that one as well yeah so you've got an unmasking that needs to take place with the five of air this is about you being your authentic self no lies no bullshit just you being open to who you are being honest about who you are you know warts and all because people are going to find out about your warts and all if you don't tell them in the first place so this is literally take take the mask off and stop blinding other people with bs basically my darlings so you've got a lot of earth and I'm not surprised it does look like there is just that fire sign and you have got the 11 of earth now this one is like a page this is heaven and earth and what it's bringing you messages about 
that heaven exists, earth exists, and the two can meet. You can bring that together with some hard work, spiritual workings, earthing yourself out, all of that sort of thing, if you're into it. If you're not into that sort of thing, it's just asking you to accept that maybe the two worlds that are coming together may in the first instance not look like a good fit however going forward once the masks have been removed not just from yourselves from the other people as well um see your seeds grow darling with the three of earth see your thoughts your seeds grow into something really beautiful so lovelies i'm gonna get a clarification for the Ten of Earth. Taurus, this is a really nice little reading. Re oh, and I will timestamp, by the way. I should have said that in the beginning, shouldn't I? Oh, we're not going to have that many for one card, I know. Let's move that out of the way. Can I have a clarifier for the Ten of Earth? Plays. What's Taurus's ultimate happiness? Oh, Taurus, why do you keep doing that? Oh, my darling, you you could have the ultimate happiness coming towards you, but you're gonna be feeling like you're better off out in the cold. Why? Where's that come from? So, can I have a clarifier, please, for the eight of Earth? these cards don't oh the ace of wands has come out this is a brand new beginning i think it's going to frighten the shit out of you i think honestly i think it's going to have you like oh i'll just sit here i'm not sure about this but you should be you've got this desire coming through twice twice it's coming through now in this deck it does talk about the desire for a project a plan or a new career with this deck it talks about all desires heart desires thought desires physical mental emotional and spiritual desires but i'm getting that i'm not getting that you feel destitute i think you're going to be scared and you'd rather sit on the bench in the freezing cold then have to <laughs> then have to face up to it. I've just clarified your ace of wands over there and it's clarified with the ace of Adamus and like I've saying I think you're gonna over process a bit instead of just accepting that this is happening Taurus that you <laughs> you are just you're just gonna feel a little bit out of salt is what I'm getting, lovelies. Wow. So if we have a clarify for heaven and earth, not that many, thank you. A clarify for heaven and earth, thank you. <gasps> heaven and earth, you've got the harvest. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Taurus, I am so made up for you. Do you know what I am going to... In a second, I will clarify that other card. But I'm going to do it with the deck that we were using originally. Because I want to get a better explanation as to why you're feeling that you need to just go and sit in the cold on your own. When you should be snuggled up in front of a warm fire watching a film. So can I have a clarifier for the five of air plays? Okay, you've got the Page of Cups. This is reconnecting to an older self. This is going back and reconnecting to something that you love doing as a child. So can I have a clarifier, please, for the Three of Earth? Thank you. I love it when they just pop out like that. 
you've got the king of cups this is going to be a union of i'm kind of getting reluctant um probably because you've been hurt before um you've got these seeds you want them to grow you want you've got all the different seeds in the world you've got the seeds the thoughts of your career your home life your love your everything about you everything about you but i'm kind of getting that you're holding back a bit because of past hurts because you feel that if you step into this that and you offer that cup out rather than honoring somebody that somebody's going to snatch it out of your hands and hurt you again and that's not the feeling that i'm getting at all from this connection and i do i am going to say to you i think it's a fire sign which is aries leo or sagittarius um it could be a water sign but i've only got one water on the deck oh no i've got two so it could be a water sign but i've got a darlings with the two ace of wands coming out i'm going to say it's a fire it's going to be a fire sign of somebody who is quite fiery and it could be that it's somebody who has got red hair there's a thing okay there's a bit of a story has come out about the five of pentacles which is your reluctance okay and what we've got is desire you really desire this connection you really want this connection you want it to be part of you um it's every aspect of you it's it's the air the earth the fire and the water within you has got this connection down as an absolute desire darling um you've also got the nine of fire which is the nine of wands which is telling me that you are desperately trying really hard to communicate that you are really trying hard to open your throat chakra and communicate your desires from the pits of your stomach your deep desires however with um the five i'm going to say he's earth but i'm not sure Do you know what? You've got the Five of Pentacles out twice. And this one talks about play, playing your cards right. Um, instead of feeling like that, you can just... As long as you play your cards right and you unmask yourself for the true you and there's no nasties hidden in the background, um, yeah, it's, it's saying to you the connection's there if you want it. You're the reluctant one two of the five the same card this is this is your resistance somebody hasn't shoved you out in the cold this is your resistance to your 10 but two fives darling make a 10 so lovely is open your throat chakra make that come from your belly and understand that this is everything you've ever manifested wished for hoped for wildest dreams cancelled it out again etc wow taurus that is a lovely reading darlings i'm just gonna ask the gaia deck to give us a card for this week for you so yeah it's your resistance lovely You've done the work but all of a sudden you go, <gasps> fuck, I didn't see that one coming. And I'm kind of getting that maybe this is somebody that's been in the background for a while and they've come to the forefront. I thought one was going to pop out then. Thank you. Perception. You have perception beyond the veil of illusion. So you may have perceived this person to be one thing 
and they're going to be turning out to be something completely different to what you've perceived them to be. Um, if they're not a fire sign, they're going to have elements of fire. They're going to be quick-tempered or hot-headed or something along those lines, one of those famous sayings. But listen, your perception is everything here. It is key to whether you're going to accept this or reject this. But my darlings, if you accept this connection, it is going to go places. It really. Hi Virgo, it's Jo from Angels and Ancestors and Lovelies. This is your part of this earth reading for... Uh, the dating app, the what the fuck dating app bit, and we're going to get st straight into it, apart from the cards going flying everywhere, oh you've had similar cards to Taurus, now obviously all these cards wanted to come out, so let's start off, you have a desire to reach out um, every aspect of you and you're reaching out to every element because you are incorporating every element into this so you are not discerning you are not discriminating whether they are fire signs earth signs water signs air signs you are quite happy to accept that you have this desire to be in a partnership and that is what you are looking for don you've worked on yourself immensely you really have you have done an awful lot of work and your all your chakras are working in sync with each other you are beautifully grounded um and although it's been hard work i'm getting like taurus did that you have got a lot to offer and a lot to give and darlings your perception let's just show you that card sorry lovely that's that card your perception of things may be a little bit off whack. Um, don't don't look at somebody and di dismiss them out of the ha out of hand. Look at it from a different perspective. I know people have to be um, attractive to us to get that going, but I kind of get that your perception of something or somebody may put you off it may be an aspect of them like their job or what they've done in the past don't use your perception about an issue or a problem or um what it is that they do for a living standing your way keep in mind you're on a dating app you, this is your opportunity to find out all those things about these people. And if you really can't live with it, then get rid of it. But it's definitely asking you to not be so closed off um, about perceptions of things. So, darlings, I don't know why that ended up there. Let's give you these ones. Yeah, so you have been working on yourself. And you put yourself first, absolutely right, and so you should. Um, this is about you and you finding your absolute ultimate partnership. This is about you realising that your world around you comes from within you, out and around you. Um, and you want something that is going to work as hard as you did to understand that self and then incorporate that but you also honor the inner child you honor this child the, your yourself as a younger person your inner child inner child that you work with so happily and there may be um, a child around you that you have to take into consideration now i'm kind of getting with the 12 of fire that this may be a fire sign very similar to taurus a fire sign but this one i'm kind of getting with the 12 that is going to be a knight um that they may well be younger than you or come across as a younger energy so my darlings you have got the eight of earth she is beautiful the eight of earth she is about abundance i'm going to put her over here she is about abundance coming in you you've got so much to offer virgo you really have this is the very 
embodiment of you. This is you offering every aspect of yourself out to somebody. Yeah, you love yourself, but you are honouring the fact that you are inviting love in with the 12 of air. And it is saying that is another night. It's the, an air night, but you are saying you're inviting love in um, and you're willing to let love out. And your night of air is going to be an air sign. So it's going to be Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. Your fire sign, Aries, Aries, Leo or Sag. So, Duns, there may be two offers on the deck. Or it may be that you've got a fire sign that also incorporates some air elements. Or vice versa. And keep in mind that it doesn't matter what sexuality you are. We're dealing with energies here. We have the Queen of Earth. Now, she's the Queen of Pentacles. She's also known as the Earth Mother. She brings in abundance and stability. And I'm getting that's what you offer out, Virgo. And that is what you would like to bring in towards you. And attracting in towards you, you are attracting the King of Water. A much more mature energy than these two. Um, but there may be an offer from the King of Water. Now, he is the King of Cups, I have to say. Um, and he he doesn't always um, tell you how he's feeling because he tends to be quite closed off. He's been open in the past. But because of injuries right from the time he was little, I'm kind of getting that he might not have worked on himself as much as you because he's been quite closed off. But it's asking you again about your perception. Use your perception to understand that he may not be in the same position or the same energy as you. That doesn't mean he can't get there. It just means that he's got the work to do that you've already done, Virgo. I'm just finishing off this little bit. You've got knowledge. This is getting to know somebody. Knowledge would normally come in and be taking a course and all of that. But because you're on a dating app site, this is knowledge of people. This is using your knowledge of people to decipher what is real and what isn't. So, darlings, I am going to clarify the Queen of Earth. I think it's pretty much you, my loves. But let's clarify it anyway. I'm going to clarify the Queen of Earth, please. And the Queen of Earth has come out with the Seven of Chalices. This is choices, but you're listening to whispers and it's confusing the situation. You have got a lot on offer but you need to stop listening and discussing it with other people. This needs to come from your heart, darling. So that is definitely you. Let's get the King of Water clarified. King of Water clarified, please. Here's the Ace of Wands. Now, this King of Water has a desire for a new beginning, um, project plan, whatever, but it's a new beginning, and he feels it's the last bite of the cherry for him. So he may be a lot older than you. Can I have a clarifier for the hero, please? So for the hero, you have got the high priest. This is somebody who's in touch with their spiritual side. They don't have to be religious, but they kind of do get um, a lot out of meditation, maybe yoga, but they are traditional 
so they may well be um, somebody who looks at church in a positive light and then we're looking at the love connection now this air sign this um, love which is the night of air they're holding on to something um, they're holding on to an emotion, a thought, a feeling um, around their family life and it could preoccupy them. I have one final card for the overall energy, please. Thank you. The moon. Allow the moon to illuminate a truth or an untruth and a pathway forward for yourself. Um, coming into this, you need to make sure that you and your counterpart have taken your masks off completely and that you are not showing a particular mask just because the situation calls for it. We all have different masks. Uh, we have one for work, we have one for home, we have one for new people, one for our friends, one for colleagues, da da da. You need to make sure that the mask is being removed so you're able to say whether your perceptions around this connection is right so darlings from the Gaia deck you have got night wind and this says facing fear um, subconscious release and healing I think you've already done that and I'm kind of getting that this is to do with this king um, goddess of creation also and it says transformation creativity and wholeness that's the overall energy that we are getting for your dating app reading for hi capricorn it's joe from angels and ancestors and lovelies this is your what the fuck dating app reading i'm putting all the earth signs up together do you know what they wanted to come out and put them back and they've dropped out again. So let's start off with these cards, shall we? Emotions. Capricorn. I know you don't particularly like emotions, but it's definitely saying if you're on a dating app, emotions have got to come into play. What you're looking for for this is an abundance. You have abundance coming through. This is a lot of give and take. This is like the Earth Mother. She is absolutely giving, but she is also divinely protected youth. You may be looking for somebody who is younger than you or has got a certain vibrancy around them that will make you think and feel in a more youthful kind of way. Not saying that you're not youthful, but I'm kind of getting that the energy that you're looking for in a counterpart is going to be that of a youthful essence so you feel like that this is a bit of a journey for you with the journey card well and truly in situ it is saying to you take part in the journey enjoy the journey rather than the destination understand where it is that you've come from and where you're heading to Darlings, Capricorn, you have got the four of um, Earth, which is four of Pentacles, holding on to something, holding on to an emotion, holding on to an issue that you haven't been able to release. It could be to do with your finances. You may not think that you should be um, putting yourself out there. For a connection until you've sorted all of that out. It may be somewhere that you live that you need to sort out. However, it doesn't preclude you from making connections on the emotional level and being in balance with that. Um, when you're holding this up, it's almost like you're holding the world on your shoulders. It's not holding the world on your shoulders. Get it into perspective. Absolutely. Um, everybody's holding something that they're dealing with. Um, you just have to be open and honest about what it is that's on offer. Yeah, my darlings, you're looking for union. You really are. And right under the youth card, I'm kind of getting that maybe you're a bit fed up with connecting with maybe older people that aren't really telling you the truth about their age. 
Um, and perhaps that's part of the burden because age is a number. And perhaps there's been people around you that just, when you've met me, you've gone, there's no way. There's no way you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s. There's just no way. Um, so I'm kind of getting that you want this union. But I'm not just getting youthful. I'm getting that you want them more your age and your presentation around your age. So lovelies, you have got the six... Now, do you know something? I can't remember if he's the six of fire or the six of water. And I've probably got it completely wrong on both scores. Six of fire, he is. So, lovelies, looking at your... Um, do you know what, Capricorn? You've got Major Arcana coming up through the walls area. So you've got an earth sign, which is you. So you may be dealing with another earth sign, but you've got all these major... You've got a major shift coming. You've got some... Something is well underway for you. Um, and this major shift is going to stand you in much better stead. But it's only got the, uh, the six of fire. And that would indicate this may be a fire sign. And the six of fire... It's all about negotiation. It's about negotiation, giving and taking. And if you look closely at the fire, now you would think that he would burn these dandelions, but out of his chalices, these drips of water that are absolutely nourishing. I don't know if they're dandelions or whether they're marigolds, but um, he's he's nurturing them. He He will throw a spanner in the works just to see how it all turns out to see if you've got the negotiating skills to see if you are able to negotiate uh, what it is that you want um yeah i'm getting that this other person's got those skills they've definitely got those skills but they're wondering if you have so don't be a closed book so can I have a clarification, please, for emotions? And the one we want is on the floor. Of course it is. Everything's been on the floor today. Oh my God, just like Taurus. When you're dealing with emotions, you're dealing with both sides of emotions. You're dealing with the positive and the negative. And your head, Capricorn, has gone straight to, shit, what have I done now? I'm going to go and sit in the cold. I'm going to go and sit in the cold. I understand that. That's an earth card. I understand that. I understand sitting there, getting grounded, being on my own, being a bit fed up with my lot. It's not what it's about, lovelies. Emotion shouldn't be one thing or another. It should be all incorporating. So can I have a clarifier for abundance, plate? Yeah, you've got the four of wands. This could be such a brilliant connection for you. This is a desire coming together of a couple. Engagement, marriage or anniversary, celebration of some sort. Can I have a clarifier for the youth, please? Yeah, no shit, Batman. You have got the green man falling at other decks and what he is saying, take a leap of faith, my darlings. Can I have a clarifier for journey, please? nine of wands oh my god capricorn you are really being overprotective about yourself about you're you're dealing with this whole thing this whole dating thing as a project and you become a bit precious about it you've become overprotective about your project you're supposed to let someone in darlings you really are so clarify please for union.
Yeah, so you have got the king of a thame as you could be dealing with an air sign also. This king, male or female, is highly intelligent, highly intuitive, doesn't put up with any fucking nonsense, doesn't get into petty arguments, won't enter into that crap, and can cut things out really easily if they don't serve them. So darlings, there is a possibility of an air sign or a fire sign. It could be a combination of the two. Um, air and fire just flamage. Fl air fans the flames and fire just loves it. Soaks it up. So darlings, well, let's just get a Gaia card for you. Don't be, sorry darlings, I've just yawned. Don't be, I'm not bored, I'm tired. Um, don't be so closed off. Don't think things are cut and dry because they're not. Don't think about cutting somebody out before it's even started, before you've even got to know them. And you've got remembrance. I think there's some healing that you need to be doing, darlings, because this is resurfacing of past feelings and emotions and again you got the emotion card there this may this connection may have you run into the hills but you really need to give people the benefit of the doubt to start with capricorn because you're never going to get anywhere in a relationship if you don't darlings so that is it that's your reading that's your what the fuck dating app reading and that's for next week so that is going to be the 20th i think is it the t yeah about the 20th i'll put it on anyway take care of yourselves bye for now